Hi friends, Jerry Robinson here from Follow the Money Daily, ftmdaily.com. Today we're going to answer the question, what is inflation? What is inflation? We often hear about it in the news, especially in the financial news, but what does it really mean? Well, today I'm going to show you a very brief illustration that I often use when I speak around the country uh, using a golf ball illustration. How can a golf ball teach us about inflation? Well, let's talk about it. Let's imagine for a moment that you and I became stranded on a deserted island. We arrive on this deserted island, we were going to play golf at some really nice golf resort and we end up stranded on this island. And all we have are 10 golf balls. I have five and you have five. And we realize that no one's coming to save us. Therefore, we decide to use these golf balls as a form of money. And we decide that we're going to have to build a community because no one's coming to save us. And so I go out and I begin to look for uh, a place to you know, create shelter. And you go out and you try to find some food. Well, let's say that you come across a big coconut tree, okay? And you come to me and you say, I found some coconuts and I say, I'm so hungry, I'm famished. I will give you one of my golf balls for one of those coconuts. And you say, no problem. But then suddenly, out of the air, we hear a very loud noise, almost as if a helicopter. We look up and we see dropping out of the sky a huge crate of golf balls. And it says on it, one million count. Now, do you still want my one golf ball for your coconut? How many could you ask me for now, now that we have a million on the island? And you see, friends, this is exactly what inflation is. Inflation is the increase in whatever the money system is. So in other words, whatever we're using as our money supply, that becomes uh, inflated when more of it is injected into the system. Now, when we take a look at the Federal Reserve, we see that they are printing massive amounts of money. In fact, $85 billion every single month or $1 trillion per year. And as they print those dollars, those dollars move into the system and they cause the price of everything to rise. So in traditional economics, or we would say Keynesian economics, the idea is, is that rising prices are inflation. That is what inflation is. But that's not true. Inflation is the increase in whatever you're using as money. So in our island example, whenever we see a massive increase in the number of golf balls, the price of everything now can go up. Your coconut went from one golf ball to being valued perhaps to 500 golf balls. Did it become more valuable? No, not necessarily, but there's more money in the system. That's exactly what inflation is. And so as the Fed pumps money into the system, they create the ability for prices to rise. And this works exactly the opposite the way that it did in the Great Depression of 1929. During that time, we saw deflation. That is, money was coming out of the system and that caused the price levels to go down. So really, the Federal Reserve is the one responsible for both deflation and inflation. And based upon the projection of the Federal Reserve's money printing system and their campaign they're currently waging, we expect inflation to rise dramatically in the coming months and years. If you'd like to learn more about inflation and deflation and how all this works and actually how you can protect your own finances, be sure to pick up a copy of our book, Bankruptcy of Our Nation. It's available on Amazon and in fine bookstores everywhere. Until next time, God bless.